Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau tutorial video and in this video I am showing you a new visualization that uh, I have created based on the Makeover Monday data sets. So as I have mentioned previously in many of my videos where Makeover Monday is the uh, community that uh, that basically shows a weekly data set or it's a weekly challenge where you can participate by creating innovative visualization. Now a data set is present along with the referenced article and let me show you that uh, while, you, while I'm talking about this. So this is the site which is makeovermonday.co.uk and here you have the uh, over here learn, um, not learn, I think participate data set. So you have the data sets where you can basically participate uh, on the given challenges. It has started, it actually started back in 2016 and right now in 2021 you have the visualizations challenges on every week. So this was the week number 37 where uh, this is the 20 largest solar power plants. That's basically your article. So if I right click over here and go to the new tab, you will find the original article where it got published, the original visualization. And as you can see, it is an advanced visualization, but it is very difficult to understand right so it has the commentary at the start the 20 largest solar power uh, power plants in the world and uh, it's basically has the country information and everything so and the visualization is down there for doing the comparative analysis of the visualization and as you can see there is a lot which is going on to make the visualization interactive as an infographic like what we say but how much uh, it is interpretable or how much effort an individual will have to do is a different thing altogether. So with that, um, you have the link. So go through with that. Um, and here, when you look at uh, the data set, I believe this is the data set link. If I go up, yeah, this is the data link. The first link is the data link. So for week number 37, this is where you will find the data. If I right click and go inside this, you will see the 20 largest data point. It is on the data.world and you will have to log in or create an account if you don't already have it. And that's where you have the data. So what I did, I downloaded the data and as you can see, it has the various different uh, views. So if I click on view mode, you will see that what it has is the name of the plant in which country you have it and uh, megawatt, um, MWP, uh, the megawatts peak capacity, I believe that's what it is, uh, capacity in megawatts, uh, in how many acres it, it is, uh, it, how many acres of area it is covering, or, and in square miles and in square kilometer, uh, you have, in which year, I believe it got started, and uh, yeah, this is the peak capacity where you don't have any column, I believe this is where you have the data. So once you download this information, so you have, uh, wh when you look at this data uh, and the article, it's about the 20 different power plants or the top 20 power plants in the world. So you have the information about, about every power plant. But over here, if you see the visualization, what I did is I basically tried to showcase the India's uh, solar energy parks. So that's what it happens when you basically have the data set. I mean, either you, you have... Uh, clear direction in terms of what analysis you need to create and there is no harm when we try on the top 20 uh, power plants in the world and try to visualize it in such a way where uh, we can basically create it uh, the nice and consumable uh, visualization but here I thought I thought of taking a different way and basically trying to showcase how much is the uh, what basically is uh, you know top solar india solar energy park is where they are located and sort of what is their count what is the capacity that they are producing the miles they are covering and the years uh, of capacity how many years it has been in which they are generating the capacity so so you can do that so that means um, if you are uh, you want to showcase from a, for a different country you can even showcase for that country for this particular visualization or even we can automate the visualizations that way we can basically automate the title we can automate the commentary which i have put it over here and all these visualization and that is something i will tell you how you can do that 
So the only uh, thing which I have changed in this data set and, and what usually you call it data enrichment where you try to enrich the data with some additional information so that it is useful when you are visualizing it. So what I did is uh, if I go to my data source over here along with the country just for India I have added state so that I can create this visualization on the map easily with the india you won't cat it you will just cat one circle or one i think the field map will not going to work uh, in that case so a circle on top of india which it will show uh, what is the india capacity as compared to the others but i just enriched it with the help of the uh, with the state and that way i have the visualization now this visualization uh, when i created it a uh, couple of things are pretty straightforward as you can see the number of parks, the capacity that it provided, the miles it has covered, but the year in capacity generation is the new variable that I created. And it is about uh, when, what was the minimum value of the year, that means the 2012, and what is the uh, latest value, which is the 2021. So overall, it is basically a period of nine years in which these top plans in the India were generated. And with the help of this visualization, we have tried to pinpoint where exactly it is present. So whomsoever is looking at this information from the point of view of India, they can basically look at it without much of an hassle. So that's basically an enrichment what I've done. I will just go uh, walk you through uh, with the visualization. So first of all, it's about uh, the capacity produced and you can see that once you input insert the data or take the data inside into the tableau you have the you have couple of columns and uh, the years in capacity generation is something not the year in capacity this megawatt per peak capacity is something i have taken some and country i have filtered it only for india because that's what i am showing over here as a specific one now uh, we have the number of parks again number of parks is nothing but we take the name for and having a pre-filtered uh, visualization and it shows that number of parks are seven and there is just a small uh, formatting is going on that this is green as you can see this is uh, you know visible green and this is like dark green so this dark green if you want to follow this i go in the more color and in the rgb setting you will see that color number is 204201. So that's what I have I basically did just so that I can make the visualization in such a way where I am not using too many different colors. As you can see, this is about the green energy. So I've just tried to use the different variant of green, whether it is a visualization, whether it is at the title, this is as a logo, which is sort of a green energy logo. And then even here on the KPI so that what you get is the consistent look and feel and then the white and gray is just so that I display and bifurcate the information without much of an hassle right so that's that's basically what I am using then the miles covered the number of miles that it is covering and uh, over here this is capacity by state so again it is the uh, state which I have added over here uh, and it is already filtered with the India. So you have these couple of states and I have megawatt per capacity uh, filtered on the color. That way we can clearly see that in the Rajasthan and Karnataka, you have the highest, uh, the, the plant which is producing the highest capacity. Uh, so this is 2245 megawatt and this is 2050 megawatt capacity. Rest of them are uh, comparatively smaller and the uh, tamil nadu one is the least one where you have the 648 megawatt capacity uh, followed by madhya pradesh gujarat and andhra pradesh so that way it is clearly visible to uh, to the end user as what's really going on or what is the um, where actually you have the highest capacity and the lowest capacity and that's what we want uh, to to indicate to the user i mean just look at this information within maybe in five minutes get out with what what you basically need right so we are giving you everything in terms of kpi uh, whatever you need to know from for these top plants and then where actually it is located and uh, the drill down information by state 
and that's the reason we do most of the time the data enrichment that is the part of the data analysis process or the data visualization process that sometimes if uh, information is missing then you just go ahead and add that information just to make information more consumable okay now apart from that uh, i think area covered i was trying something else over here as you can see and yeah years in capacity generation is basically your nine years it's nothing but uh, over here it's a simple calculation which is the max year and min year so by default the year is coming as the um, as the numeric information so that's why i have taken the max and min and i get the range which is nine years so if we do it for any country it will be filter it will be uh, giving you the same information every time now what i did in the over here is basically i utilized this dashboard title which i enabled this show dashboard title and over there i am using arial as a font and 36 and the color is as you can see is green this is this is the one which i am using green right and then down there i have written a small commentary that india has adopted the path of green energy very early in 2012 by creating the charnaka solar park in gujarat so on and so forth with some uh, numbers like what was the capacity how much it has increased which is 184 percent increased in green so that's that's a small statistic if someone is really wants to know we can even show it over here but i kept it over there that how much capacity has increased when we started back in 2012 to up until now in 2020 or 2021 so i did not take the 2021 deliberately because uh, looks like uh, we, we have not yet completed it so i took the 2012 as the as the number or oh, sorry the 2020 as the number just to have the the comparison that how much you have increased over a period of time and then uh, over here i am using the image which is nothing but a logo uh, it's it's a logo you can find online by by just simply googling it that uh, green energy logo or uh, solar energy logo so whatever logo you want to use you can use it uh, i am using the green one just just so that it is matching the theme and then uh, over here if you see uh, we have i am using a couple of containers like this this is the title by default it has container then down there what i did is i used the vertical container so that i can have one container here and then all this information down there and then first in the first uh, uh, this uh, container i use text component so if i double click this is nothing but the text component uh, which i put it inside there and down there i'm using the horizontal container so one container for this and another one for this so first i bring this visualization and then beside to that on the left side i added the vertical uh, vertical component or the vertical container over here just so that i can get all of these visualization on top of each other so that if i go in the front end the visualization don't mess up and i get the consistent look and feel so it's about uh, how you place the containers so it and and uh, this process basically involves that we plan it that what we need so we needed you know vertical containers first of all like this one and within one vertical container you can add actually more containers like i have done a horizontal container so that i get one visualization here and a couple of more visualization here but to get on top of each other you need the again vertical container inside that so let me know if if you find any problem in that because i have already explained many times in in my previous videos about that so i thought of not explaining it again if you are not very very comfortable with the with these uh tiled setting and want to have a complete free hand without much of an hassle with the containers then you can even choose the floating in case of floating wherever you will place it it will not going to restrict you so that's that's an easy way what i see uh, however it's it's again a choice that we want to have uh, whether we want a tiled one which is a fixed layout or a tight layout or the floating one which is more like a free hand or, or sort of floating around on the screen and uh, display wherever you want to display and then these gray lines which is over here is nothing but the blank component if you see so the blank component i am putting it over here which uh, is basically i'm doing small settings in the layout 
I am making the outer padding as 10 so that it is it is not taking the entire space but looks like it is a subspace uh, and and uh, just working as a divider and then um, the the height that I am taking is basically the 32. So even for these ones I am taking the similar sort of setting as you can see just so that we are consistent. So this this one I want to give you as in practice I just wanted to explain you uh, step by step or in a way that so that you can basically create this. Now uh, another thing which as an exercise you can take is you can basically add the city information over here or the state information over here as the first exercise uh, where to these different other countries right so this one this is huanga hydropower so looks like uh, something in japan i believe and then you have no china uh, and then you have something in egypt so in which state they are so that uh, when you create let's say an automated dashboard over here by maybe filtering at the top or maybe here or down here you know wherever it uh, it, it makes sense more uh, you can basically filter the visualization so that's an exercise i want to give and uh, so based on the filter that you are choosing you should be able to see the visualization so for example if i click it over here come here and take the filter which is nothing but the country so we have these country we can just make it floating over here uh, and also make it single value drop down that way we can come and put it over here if we want this is completely up to us where do we want it and then we can basically change the information so for china it will going to change the information and give you everything but it will not give you the visualization the visualization will come only in case of india because we have state so that's why an exercise i want to give you uh, which you should do first by adding the states over here then adding the filter like i just did and you can basically then need to work little bit more uh, with this title this needs to be automated uh, so think about it how you can you make it automated and even this visualization needs to be automated so this visualization or this commentary i automated it in one of my previous video link i am giving you down there and this was about the sales dashboard where i created the analytical commentary similar commentary i want to encourage you that uh, if you have not seen that follow it for for how you can create an automated analytical commentary that will be very useful for your dashboard for producing the automated commentaries so if you have not already seen that video i highly recommend that and this will be useful for you in this visualization or in this dashboard as well so this is this is the one way of how you can basically produce it and basically show for each country what basically the visualization is coming for you uh, i am actually thinking of creating couple of more versions uh, which will be easy uh, when you basically look at that or uh, which is basically a different way of how you can view and interpret the information if you have already created and participated in this visualization competition then let me know uh, in the links uh, down there in the comments i will be glad to see what what you have created and what sort of uh, visualization you have created will be something interesting i will i will and others will definitely going to look at it and uh, that way we can basically learn from each other and uh, yeah uh, you know get get more experienced and get more expertise on data visualization so that's what i mainly wanted to discuss in this video where i wanted to show you about this makeover monday challenge and what i created it uh, looking forward to see what you have created if you have any question let me know in the comments i'll be happy to answer those so with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video